Here is the jacket of this hopper. In this jacket, there is insulation. So this is an insulated hopper, so that ice cream does not melt. So whatever ice cream has been fed to the machine will be in its original form, so that it can be packed while it is in still frozen form. Now, how this machine will be working is at this end. At this end. A worker will be placing the empty ice cream cups manually. So there will be a worker who will be placing empty ice cream cups at this spot, at this place manually. And here you can see this is a turn table. So this table will be turning intermittently. So at one time, one space will move to this second direction, second place. Then in next step it will move to this third place. So it will be not moving continuously, it will be moving intermittently. It will be starting and stopping. So that is intermittent motion. So cup will be placed, it will move one place, then another like that. So when the cup is placed here, here you can see there is a riser from bottom. So this riser, what it does is, this riser will keep the cup in the position so that it is over this lid, over this flap, so that the cup lid does not touch this side table. When it is turning, in the next step, it will come at this place, the cup will hang on its flap or on, on its lid. Then it will be coming in this position. So in this position, we have this sensor. So there is a sensor which will sense whether there is any cup or not. So that in the next step, the machine can make a decision whether to dispense the ice cream into cup or not. If cup is not present, whether or not this turntable is rotating, ice cream will not be dispensed. Then machine has said that cup was there and it has moved to this next space, next slot here. Then cup will be coming in this direction and this is the dispensing nozzle of this hopper. So in this dispensing nozzle of this hopper, we have a positive displacement system. So this side here, we are having a positive displacement pump just like gear or load pump as you have studied in your earlier classes. There is a positive displacement system so that it can uh, pass on this semi-solid ice cream into this cup. When the ice cream will be dispensed into the cup, this lid will be moving away. So here you can see there is a lid placed under this nozzle. So this lid will be moving away so that this space is clear for dispensing of ice cream. When dispensing of ice cream has completed, this lid will come in here this place so that it does not let the mix, ice cream mix or melted ice cream if any fall in the empty space so that the sanitary conditions are maintained. So this lid is for that particular purpose. So it will be saving the product losses as well as maintaining the sanitary conditions during filling operation. So when this lid is open then only this pump will start. When this pump stops, 
After that, this lid will come back into this place. Until that, this turn table will not rotate. When this operation has stopped, then the turn table will move to this next spot here, which is again an empty spot. After that, in the next place, it will come here. So, there is a fruit and nut dispenser placed over this space. So, here you can see there is a hopper type of shape which will be filled by fruits and nuts. So, fruits and nuts will be, display, uh, will be uh, dispensed by this layer or this uh, opening underneath this hopper on top of the ice cream. So, it will be serving as a topping over the ice cream which has been already dispensed into the cup. So, that will be a fruits and nuts dispenser placing the topping over the ice cream. Then the ice cream cup with the ice cream and topping will move to next space slot here and here we are having a pick and place mechanism. So, this side here, this is a pick and place mechanism. Here is a robotic arm. So, this robotic arm what it will do is, it will pick the lids of the cups and place over the filled cups. So, there we will be having a uh, stack of ice cream lids placed in this space. These lids are generally made up of card boards. You might have uh, used those ice cream cups at milk parlor. So, cardboard lids are there. In this part, there is a suction. So, it will be coming in this place. It will suck one lid by vacuum. It will hold the lid and bring it from this space. From here, it will suck the lid and catch it from here and then place it at this side. So, it will pick the lid from here. It will come out and place it here. So, here you are seeing there is one axis here on which this robotic arm can rotate. So, on this axis, this robotic arm can rotate like this and at this axis here, it can rotate like this, it can swing. Okay. So, when this will be rotating like this, it will come in this space. So, this part will be overturning, coming here. Vacuum will be uh, provided by this uh, machine and it will suck one lid at a time, only the bottom most lid will be sucked, it will be held in place by this sucker arm and then this will be swinging away, moving, rotating and then it will swing back and place the lid on top of the filled cup. Is that clear? So, it will be placing on the top of filled cup so that the ice cream cup has been leaded. So, it has been provided with the lid. After that, in next space, it will move to this. This is again an empty slot. Then finally, the lid will come. This cup will, with the lid will come here and there is again a riser at this space. There is a riser. So, this riser will push the cup upwards. Then this pusher, this pusher will push this cup in this shoe. So, from this shoot, another worker will be manually picking those filled ice cream cups and placing in the secondary packaging material. Therein, there will be a stack of ice cream cups, one top on another. Now, coming on to this side, here you can see there is a FRL unit here. So, this is a pneumatically operated robotic arm. So, this is uh, placed with, this is connected with this uh, unit, FRL unit. So, compressed air operation is there. So, here you can see there is gear, here there is a gear and there is a rack. So, this is a rack and pinion mechanism. So, when this, this whole part will be moving upward due to this gear which is intermeshing with this rack, it will be rotating. So, there is no motor here for rotation, there is no motor. This rotation is by this rack and pinion mechanism only. Okay. So, this is rack and pinion mechanism. 
at the bottom of this at this bottom we are having one hole for creating vacuum at this space so this hole is connected by this arm and then a connection is given under the machine to the vacuum pump so that it can be uh, producing that vacuum for suction effect now coming on to this side here here we are having this crank and uh, uh, this uh, cam arrangement so we, uh, we have a crank and a cam so this this when this uh, rod moves so while its rotation it will be moving and pulling this cam in forward direction so it will be forcing this lever to move this part away from the nozzle so these pump and this lead of nozzle are synchronized mechanically so there are no two controlling elements only one single control element is there so that there can not be any mismatch of synchronization so this lead has to move away at the same time only the pump will start so if pump is starting this lead cannot be in the uh, bottom of this nozzle so it has been ensured by mechanically coupling these devices together by using this crank and cam mechanism here at this side we are having this control panel so this side we are having control panel of this machine this is the stop button here we are having start button and there is this is the main switch to power on the machine so by power on uh, by putting this machine to power on it will be on standby when we will be starting this it will be on auto mode so that when the lead is when a uh, cup is detected at this end only then the machine will start rotating otherwise this will not rotate even if it has been started so this uh, sensor's role is to sense whether a empty cup is there so if it detects it then only filling operation will be there this jacket is for maintaining the ice cream mix in its frozen form in which it was received there is no cooling mechanism here it is not refrigerated it is only insulated so cups will be filled automatically but placement of the cups and removal of filled cups is manual both placement of the cup and removal of filled cups will be on this side on same side of at this end cups will be placed from this end cups will be removed so that a complete 360 rotation is utilized in such a